Hey guys, so this is bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main account. Brand new week. Obviously, this season has not actually been that great so far. Um, but we're trying to remain positive, and I'm trying to start this week with a fresh mindset. It's right at the beginning of the season. We're still gaining about 24, 25 LP per win, and we're gaining we're losing 11 or 12 LP. So I do need to get this win rate going because eventually that's going to run out, and then it will be harder to climb. But hopefully this week it can be a good one. Playing Vladimir, I was count, uh, blind pick, so like always. And hilariously, I was last pick on my team. I, I was like near first pick. I then traded uh, with the bot pick and they said yes. A lot of people are actually saying yes to mid laners becoming last pick, which is great in champ select. But um, yeah, I, I'm feeling confident. I don't think a Corky can punish me too much as a Vlad. And Shivana's ganks aren't amazing. They they actually have no hard CC in any of their ganks with Shivana Corky. Obviously, their hard CC could come if Shen comes down and roams or he ults, or if Lux roams up with her Q. But obviously, Vladimir, if I just time my W well, I can avoid the hard CC. So I'm hoping we'll be okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to... And this is also, by the way, just to say, my first... I believe it's going to be, unless something happens... Um, my first full stream since before Christmas. So, like, literally, I've not done a full stream that I've streamed five days a week, full length streams. I've not done that since before Christmas. Obviously, I got you know what around Christmas, so that kind of didn't help. Um, but then everything's just been a bit busy, and then I was waiting for the season to start, and then it's been even a bit messy since the season has started. So, yeah. Yeah, so let's try our best. I don't know where the MMR is. If anybody, again, I'm still not really looking up loading screens. If someone wants to averagely look up the, the this game and just tell me what the average rank is, I wouldn't be surprised if the average rank in this game is probably even still like Diamond 1. Wouldn't absolutely shock me. Because that's the weird thing that a lot of people don't really think about in the early season. I've seen even a couple of Reddit posts about it of people going, I was plat last year and now I'm struggling in silver. The thing you're not struggling in silver technically you're struggling in the rank of silver but the match quality is actually probably your past rank oh it's diamond two okay so it's a diamond two game it's roughly a diamond two game and obviously i'm in diamond four right now but most people i'd imagine in this match will probably master last year so the match quality is much higher than your current rank so that's the thing you also have to have in your mind that's the difference between MMR and, yeah. Oh my god, he bought Cull against a Vlad. That is a, so buying Cull is basically a message that you're just wanting to free farm. Free farming against a Vladimir is a bit weird. It's like free farm against a, like a Kassadin. I'm plus 24, 25 LP, minus 11 or 12. So yeah, my MMR is very, very good. Basically, what that is saying is the game actively wants me to climb. It's just I can't climb. <laughs> it's just not going very well yet. Just got to get the actual wins in. Oh my god, I autoed a cannon minion. Look at me go. Uh, Corgi scales really well too, but he doesn't scale anywhere close to Vlad. Vladimir is the type of champion, if you get really strong, you can basically just win the game 1v5. You know, there, there aren't many champions like that, but Vladimir is one of them. Hey, almost Dr. Drayton, 60 months tier 2 sub. Thank you so much, dude. Almost five years. Hell yeah, man. Again, we're back over the happy number, which is amazing. Appreciate the support, as always. Again, if you're liking the YouTube channel at the moment... Um, do throw a like on the video. Do subscribe. Shivana's got flash. Oh. Well. Shivana jungles take ghost usually. Raven's losing the early game. Are you serious? Oh my god, really? An enemy has been slain. That's not good. Draven losing an early game to a Caitlyn. 
He must have got like Lux queued or something for that to happen and then comboed Lux Q into Caitlyn Trap. That's the only way I see that Draven getting killed. The so Shen's running Ignite, which honestly, like, is to try and get some form of early lead. I don't even think there's much point for him to take Ignite, personally. Because, I don't know. It's it's still relatively irrelevant, even if you manage to kill Malka, um, Malphite in the early game. Like, Malphite has his one job, and that's all he's going to do, all he cares about. Hey, Stinky the Dude. How's it going, man? Go on, lads. Let's get out of the trap. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Maybe he thought I was top lane. Nah. A lot of Shens just take Ignite. Remember when it was like really popular? Was it last season or the season before? It might have even been season nine. Um, it was really effective when it first kind of happened. Because no one expected a Shen to have Ignite. And then people started going, wait, Shen's got Ignite. And then it became less effective. It's still good, though. People underestimate Shen's early game. But the biggest thing with Shen's early game to maximize damage is dragging through your Q. If you don't drag through your Q onto the target, the damage actually isn't very good. I'm half expecting Shivana to be doing Dragon now, by the way. She's not. Okay. That wasn't bad damage. Jen altered bot lane. Smurf Q is gone pretty much, yeah. Smurf Q is causing too many troubles. For those that are like, what? You know, but the Smurfs are back in my games. The problem that you had is a lot of innocent people who are just doing well were put in Smurf Q that weren't Smurfs. Imagine that. You're just playing well and you got put in a, in a queue that you basically actively can't climb in. Made in a very bad gaming experience. I don't think there's any point ganking this. I don't think we actually have the DPS. Damn, they still did dragon. <laughs> when are we going to start unranked to diamond? Probably not in the first month of the season. I want to try at least, at least get back to diamond one. So like we're mainly back to master before we think about doing unranked to diamond. And also right now I actually do not have the riot account. Again, if nowadays it's actually quite nice, but Riot gives me an account with everything unlocked and I don't have to level an account every year. I actually, I do not have a Riot account yet. They are working on it at the moment. <clears throat> Good gank top lane right now, and that would probably be a dead Malphite. If I was Shivana, I'd probably be doing Rift Herald at the moment. I'm actually going to have a look. Oh, she's not. What will happen to Smurfs if there's no Smurf cube? It's just the same as it used to be. Depending what your MMR is on the account is the match you get put in. Because a lot of Smurfs have much higher MMR than the actual rating they're in. So it just takes a few games to actually work it out. 
Okay, now she's doing it. I knew she'd want to do it. A lot of Shavannas are... Um... Oh my god, this Draven has flash and everything and doesn't use it. Another sucky bot lane. I swear. Orky's roaming bot lane. Well. What the hell? My bot lane is getting destroyed and he's a draven. They're both one and three. Our bot lane is two and six right now. Two and six at ten minutes. <laughs> this is unfortunately how my season has been going recently. <laughs> oh, God. The funny thing of like, you know, saying like, oh, I need just to get out of like low rating. But again, like we, we confirmed earlier, I'm Diamond 4, but everyone, most other people in this game are in Diamond 2. So it's like me getting out even if i get higher rating it's still this is a higher rating game <sighs> i do think this game is definitely winnable but it's just annoying uh-huh uh -huh. That's why Malphite usually is not very good in high rating, because people have good reactions. My is Shut down. Caitlyn's always getting kills though. Come on, Draven, you need to get there to help. Get there. Get there, Draven. Oh my god, you troll. He just didn't even want to get there. Oof. <clears throat> they were very fed, Caitlyn. Which again, I can't really do anything about as a mid laner. And that's just what's happening every single game. Enemy team is just getting really fed top or mid or bot laners. And I'm just like, well, what can I do? Brom's now actively giving up bot lane with a Draven lane, it looks like. Oh. Mord's top lane when dragon spawns, because of course he is. There's dragon gone and Corky's got package. Start of seasons, man. They either go really good or really bad. There's not really an in-between. Some seasons you manage to ride the wave well, and sometimes you get round by the wave. This year it just feels like I'm being drowned by the wave, unfortunately. Thing is, I could probably carry this game if my team let me, but my bot lane doesn't seem to be good enough to realize that. Fight it. Okay. 
We just basically just don't rely on this Draven at all. This Draven is terrible. Eh. Bad ignite. Please let it all out. Hey, Wickle. My Q went on cooldown then, but it didn't work. But wonderful. Jeppers, 33 months tier 1, 33 months already. Oh, how time flies. Hope all is well. Thank you much, Jeppers. Me and Malphite could definitely double kill the enemy bot lane if we comboed. How's rank been going? Not great. Unfortunately. Stinky the dude with a gifted sub. Thanks, Stinky. Dude, she's level 10. Honestly, that didn't go too bad considering they were outnumbered. But technically, the really fed... Ca oh, God, ow. The fed Caitlyn didn't, wasn't there. So their most fed player wasn't involved in the fight, which obviously is going to be a good thing for us. I do think I eventually can destroy a Caitlyn, though. We need to fight for this. I'm going to go back and buy. Even if I can't buy much, just get the most power we can just before Infernal. We need to fight. I think we can win a team fight. <clears throat> We've all got ults. Draven will have ult as well. I think we'll be alright. Hey, Thomas, dude. Uh, Mage Nam, 99, 7 months of Prime. Thanks so much, dude. What's the orb next to Caitlyn's character? Uh, I don't know, in all honesty. It, it looks like the um, orb that you get when you're using that tank item, Heart Steel, but no one's got Heart Steel. So I don't know. We did it! We won a fight! Yeah, we played that fight well. The only bad, bad thing I think was my ult wasn't great, but apart from that... Oh, is it Night Harvester shows an orb now, does it? Oh... So I... what? Oh, uh, because obviously you can use Night Harvester and it has a different cooldown per player on the enemy team. Wonderful. Yeah, the Shivana should have just killed me, I'm gonna be honest. The fact that she didn't kill me was quite bad. She could have. It's always been like that. Yeah. What? Is it? Are you sure? Oh, 
That's a bad corky package. Like, what's he going to take with that? I guess they might just try to take mid tower with it, but... Not the best use. Maud skin? Yeah, it's really nice. I've got that Maud skin. Even though I don't play Maud actively, I just thought it was really cool. I swear this will... I build Night Harvester on some of my champs. Guys, you literally knew this was happening and you still get caught. But that's just bad. Like, there's no other word for that. That's just bad play. I think we can actually fight it. I'm not even kidding. Why is the luck support doing so much damage? This Shivana's focus is really bad. Ooh. Okay, why is Maud so strong? Hello? Dude just straight up killed everybody. Oh, if he had Collector! If you had Collector! Maud had some Red Bull. Uh, I had the Red Bull this morning and I didn't do that. Ah, uh, he was looking for the Corgi. Fair enough. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Da -da -da -da. There they are. Standing in a row. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Da -da 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 -da. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. There they are, standing in a row. Bro. I'm the highest level in the game. I mean, I should be. I'm solo Vlad. We've actually had, I'm not even just saying it, we've actually had a really good game. That was bad. Do you know when I said we had a good game? Take it back. Take it back. Do, 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 do. Take it back. Take it back. Pretty sure I can murder this Caitlyn though if I actually play correctly. Come here, you bit! Oh! I'll have ult back for Dragon, which is good. <sighs> well, I've been told now. Take it back. Do 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 take it back. We have Malphite TP. Please let it all out. And the Lux is actually doing a lot of damage. I wouldn't be surprised if the Lux is doing more damage than the Corky. The problem is I'm half health. Which isn't great. Collector killed me. That's irritating when you get killed by an item. 
I don't like Collector. Did they steal the dragon, by the way? Yeah, they did. That's bad. That is a poor display by the Mordekaiser. What Mord should have done, because we had control of the dragon pit, is ult the Shivana out and then just hope Draven could finish it off. That, that's what he should have done. Yeah, Caitlyn exhausted me and all that. But it does show quite clearly I can murder this Caitlyn. And, you know, just with scaling, I'm going to get to a point that she won't kill me. Because she's very strong right now. She's overfed. I'm just strong, I would say. Hey, Hawkey! So, yeah, I think this Caitlyn probably knows she's a bit in trouble to me. And Corky isn't that scary in those type of fights. To be honest, their whole team isn't that scary in those kind of fights. I don't know who Shen ulted. It's like, he didn't ult the Caitlyn. Okay, sure. Oof. That damage. We definitely need a Zonya. Oh my god, he didn't take that from me. Nice. Go. Go, go, go. He just flashed. That's a very weird flash. We didn't use a single ultimate for that kill. We're committing to this now. If this gets stolen... Caitlyn's in our base, by the way. This Caitlyn's a little bit boring, isn't she? Oh, no. Hey, Courage. You need a killer. If we kill her, which they should. <laughs> Thank God. Now we need to go get an inhib. We have to go get an inhib to equalize it. She just killed an inhib, a base tower, and half health another base tower. Oh, that was boring. But the enemy team will lose this game by scaling based on their comp, but if the Caitlyn's actively not going to fight anymore like that. And I always say, that was smart what she did. I'm not saying it was bad play. That was good play. Whoa, look at my damage. That wasn't even a charged Q. That was just a standard Q. We are doing a lot of damage now. Yeah, this Shivana's not playing too well either. One level 16. Corgi's like doing nothing this game. The thing that I'm worried about is this Caitlyn might not care for Dragon and she might just try to go mid. Judging off like her playstyle. That's going to be annoying to deal with. I've got double sums though, which does mean she has got exhaust back up. But I think if I go all, all, all in... I might now be strong enough just to murder her through exhaust and survive. Honestly, if I was Malphite, that Lux I would have just killed with ult. The Lux is actually quite strong. Him. Yes. The thing I'm worried about right now is Caitlyn doing dragon. 
she's sneaking this dragon. Oh no, okay. Because like, the Caitlyn just, she's not 5v5ing anymore as we've seen, so it just wouldn't surprise me if she was like, alright, I'm gonna go sneak it. She hit me with that E? What? Really? TCH Trom, 10 months. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, it's good that that Shen altered because we had complete control over that fight. So Shen just kind of killed himself doing that. Zonya would be very nice. How's it going, G Dog? Welcome to the stream, my dude. Thanks for lurking for so many years. <sighs> okay, they're a bit desperate. <laughs> What the hell, skill shot? What is that for? Skill shot with 50 gifted subscribers. Hello? What the hell? What just, what's going? No, wait, no, one. No, it is 50. What is, I'm so confused. Skill shot with 50 gifted subs and then at the same time, Stinky the dude does one gifted sub over the G-Dog. What the hell? Guys, thank you. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you very much. I don't know what all of this is for, but thank you. I, I really do appreciate that. Yet I'm really focusing on this game, so apologies if I can't focus too much on chat. That was one of the things I actually said I wanted to do more this year was to focus on the matches. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, if he got the ult off or something. The Shivana is not playing well. Dude, thank you so much. Dude, Draven damage. Malphite? I got a. I don't care. I got my target! I got my target! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, lads. Let's go, lads. We won this game! Let's go. Oh. Good start to the week. I did not think we'd win this game with Draven and, and Brom feeding early. But well done to the Maud. He got us back in this game. And we had a solid lane phase. We did pretty well. Oh, let's go. Nice. And that's the problem I will say with Caitlyn. She's good in lane phase, but she's not a hyper carry. Oh, I'm really happy you won that game. That was such a good win. There we go. Start to the week recording on a Monday. First game of the week. And we get that nice win. Well done to Maud. Well done to Moda Kaiser. Where we level up? I don't know what level we are. Woof. So yeah, we're still gaining 24. That's really good. Come on. Oh. Very nice. So we do only 16.9k damage because I can't do any poke with the enemy team. I have to go all in to do anything. Oh my god, Lux literally was did the most damage in the game by actually a big margin. Wow. Crazy, man. What a crazy game. Corky, like he has a bit of, he has a bit more damage than me, but he wasn't really doing much. Again, that damage obviously is just Corky poke with rockets. But yeah, he didn't really do much. I don't know, obviously, if I... Did I, if I did take his Vlad, I, I don't know. 
is there a reason I didn't go proto belt? Maybe I should have because of how high range the enemy comp was. Corky's high range, Caitlyn's high range, Lux's high range. N Night Harvested gives just more raw damage, which I like, but maybe I should have. So yeah, looking at the load of Meduda. Yeah, so Twitch chat was right. Most people in this game are Diamond 2. The Caitlyn was actually already in Diamond 1. Uh, my lane opponent was Diamond 2. Doesn't play Corky. What does he play? Rise, Caitlyn, Jin, Velkoz. So yeah, he's not a Vlad player. I have no idea. Weird. But um, yeah, maybe this game I should have gone pro about because that would have helped me like get extra on top of the Caitlyn. Oh, but yeah, what a game. What a game. If you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime. I know how to unleash eternal power.